Well, nearly after two decades, Congress Party is holding its election. Earlier, when the elections took place, there used to be a consensus candidate in the way of uh, either Mrs. Sonia Gandhi or Mr. Rahul Gandhi. But this time, Congress Party is holding its election, and I have been joined by Mr. Praveen Chakravarti, the data man of the Congress Party. Mr. Chakravarti, sir, your uh, delegate has also started arriving. But at the same time, my big question is, how was the journey? Because last October, you started on this mammoth task of going all out and enrolling everybody at the same time uh, opening up the membership drives what was the experience what do you have to say oh the experience is, the experience has been fantastic um, but you know i often say people use big words like inner party democracy and all of that but what it really takes to achieve it is extraordinarily difficult a uh, very very thankless task um, i'll give you some examples there has been there is a team of 943 returning officers that have been chosen by Mr. Madhusudan Mistri in the Central Election Authority. They have been working for over a year. It started with the membership program, and through this process, they were able to choose nine, over 9,900 delegates that will form the electoral college for the Congress Party. And today. 9,900 members of the Congress party will step out to vote for their next president. It is truly a historic and an exciting day for the Congress party. It is actually a historic day and one very historic point of, uh, uh, point is that you brought all the cars in a 30 kg suitcase. Can you throw some light on that aspect also? You were, not, you were not supposed to <laughs> know that. Because for the anyway. first time, QR ID cards have been issued. That is right. Um, yes, I think we tried uh, uh, to bring in some uh, modern methods. Uh, Mr. Mistry was uh, very, very uh, insistent about uh, reforms, about having a very smooth and fair and uh, uh, transparent process. So every single delegate was given a QR coded issued ID card who, that has to be presented today before they can vote. So the ID cards cannot be fake because it's all QR coded. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of this had to be done in secrecy because um, we had to uh, do this uh, without for the, for the sanctity of the process. So I personally do ha did have to get these cards printed and carry them in a suitcase myself. Uh, into the AICC. Also, Praveen, one very big question is what message the Congress Party is sending? Because there are other op uh, political parties also who are holding their election, uh, who are holding their elections or um, no elections, no elections technically, yeah. who are been announcing the names of their uh, presidents, party president, party chief. So, what do you have to say about that? Yes, see, I know that the Congress Party is held to a much higher standard in the uh, in the country, and I think that is correct. The Congress Party is the party that won independence for this country and built India into a republic. So, Congress Party needs to be held to a higher standard. So, I am not at all surprised that other parties do not have the ability or the institutional capacity to hold elections internally to choose their leader. And for the first time, this, this is another first, is a container polling booth. That is right, yes. As we speak right now, somewhere thousands of kilometers away, there are nearly 50 important workers, members of the Congress party that are going to vote in a container which is on a truck and that is the polling booth for the Bharat Jodo Yatris, including Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the former Congress president. And that is that was the high point. Mr. Rahul Gandhi will go and put in a container, uh, which is a polling uh, container, which is makeshift polling booth, and showing his ID card. And showing his ID card. <laughs> that is very important. <laughs> Praveen, how has been the experience as far as Bharat Jodo Yatra is concerned? Because when we were there discussing it, there also people were really concerned about the elections. And you know, two main contenders come from the state of Karnataka and Kerala, from where the Yatra has just crossed. And how has been the contest? How do you see this entire process? Vis a vis that of you know how people are excited not just of Barajodo Yatra election and we saw a lot of names coming in Vigri Singh Ji, um, Ashok Gilod Ji, and finally we are seeing this day to day. What do you have to say about it? See, the fact that uh, both the candidates, one is from Karnataka and one is from Kerala, and those are the two states that the Barajodo Yatra finished, was coincidental because the Yatra map was drawn much, much before we knew who the candidates were going to be. 
But having said that, you are absolutely right. The Bharat Jodo Yatra is about connecting to people. The Congress internal elections is about connecting to party workers. And the Congress party is buzzing with activity of connection to people, connecting to workers through the Yatra and through the internet. My election. final question. How has been your experience as far as right from digital membership to the QR code ID and being part of this historic process which has taken place nearly after two decades? I am actually extremely fortunate and lucky to have been part of this process. I really thank Madhusudan Mistriji and the entire Central Election Authority and 943 returning officers of the party that have made this possible. I'm extremely fortunate to have been uh, part of this and to have witnessed this from close. Well, that was uh, Mr. Praveen Chakravarti, uh, the in charge of Congress Party's data department talking to us with Vijayan Satya Supriya Bharadwaj for India Today in Delhi.